Hi everyone, this is Ramesh from Informatica. This is a quick video on to show you how to enable client security for Web Service Hub. So the agenda of the video is to show you how to enable client security uh, while um, invoking or while sending the client request, client web service request for the services that are deployed on Web Service Hub. So here we are talking about um, what are the configuration that is required for uh, to enable uh, the workflows that are deployed on Web Service Hub for client authentication. Um, we are also talking about what are the type of username token that are supported with Power Center. So there are three types of uh, username token that you can we can send to the SOAP request. They are plain text password we can provide uh, as in clear text password uh, while sending the SOAP request, client SOAP request or there are the second type is hashed password where we can hide the where we can hide clear text password using the hash function. Uh, there are two types which is MD5 or SSH A1 we can uh, uh, hash the password using this encryption type and then provide the generated string as an input to the SOAP request and the third type is digested password. Digested password is again a hash password uh, including some timestamp field. Uh, I'm not covering about the digested password over this video uh, as, since it's beyond the scope of this video. I'll leave uh, up to you but there's a very detailed documentation about the digested password which is explained in the web service hub uh, user guide. So uh, let's take a quick look into the demo. So this is a mapping where um, which reads uh, ID and name field from the SOAP request. Do some transformation within the expression. Um, ID field is I'm populating as is into the target and the name field only is what I'm trying to hardcore into and then send it in, into the target. And the target is also a SOAP uh, a web service provider. So um the input the, so the name field uh, which I'm hard coding within the expression is what I'm populating into the target. So when I send the soap request with ID and name field, the response I get is the ID field but with the name as a hard coded value what I specify in the expression transformation. This is the workflow corresponding to that mapping. Um, if you see here this icon here which means that this workflow is deployed on the hub web service hub so click on edit here uh, to deploy any workflow on hub we need to select this property called enable just select this checkbox click on the configure service here we can provide the service name we can choose to name anything and rest all are the default uh, properties which are selected so let me um, get the so let me run this uh, uh, invoke this workflow using SOAP UI. But to do that, first I have to get the whistle from the web service hub, and then you import that whistle in SOAP UI, and then uh, I can invoke the uh, SOAP request from there. So this is my web service uh, hub URL. I click on the valid web services uh, test example one uh, to get the whistle uh, right click here and say save link as and it will export the whistle and you could save it um, and now using this whistle let me import this whistle in SOAP UI new SOAP project let me name it as a demo and I let me browse it to the click on open click on OK okay so this is a visual so here the input fields are visual ID and the name so let's provide something as an ID say and name as in say something like demo and uh, let me submit this request so uh, so here I get the response back 
ID as 10 but the name has got changed to hello world which is as a hard coding in the mapping so this is the response from the for the SOAP request now this request uh, it didn't have any authentication so that there was no authentication that happened at the web service hub uh, and so which means that any client any client can call that service and get the response back now if you want to put in a layer of security uh, so that only certain client can use this uh, or invoke this service um, will have to uh, do some modification or some configuration change now how do we enable that is what we were the main uh, idea of this video so let me go to the workflow click on edit click on configure service so here we see this option called protected if I select this option here that means any client whoever wants to invoke this service will have to provide username and password for authentication otherwise you will get the authentication failure and there will not be any response from the further request so if we select this protected option the web service how authenticates the web service client based on username and password before it runs the service if not protected any web service can run uh, this service without the authentication which is not a secure way of doing so here I selected the protected option click on apply say ok save it uh, again I have to get the export of the whistle from the web service hub so right click here another thing is if I click on this on this service I could see here even that this service is a protected so I could verify from here as well let's get the latest whistle and then import into the SOAP UI open okay okay so here I imported the latest whistle so now if I see if you see here the structure of the soap request is a little different than the before so now you can see here the username password tag right along with the input and the input field so let's provide the credentials now so for me it's a username is administrator password is administrator let's submit this request all right so here now we see the response back id is zero because i didn't pass any value here um where is id yes because i didn't pass anything let me just try to pass here and provide the name also but the key thing to note here is um yeah it definitely got the uh, response back and it was able to authenticate it right let's rerun it again all right so same we get the ideas now at least whatever input we provide same uh, value and the output and the name uh, the value for the name field is uh, again hello world so which is fine so um, so this time there was an option for us to send the username and password details along with the soap request right so but then so this is the uh, first type of which we were talking about which is the clear text or plain text password now there is another way where you can encrypt the password or hash the password using md5 or sshA and then provide the uh, generated a string value instead of actual password so let's see how do we do that so um, let me just first show you the uh, document here so for um, hash hashing the password right there are certain commands that this is the command here so if you see here it says echo minus n then your password this is not a user this is the password right so the example is showing a password for administrator so let's say for this example the password is administrator so uh, but for your scenario password may not be an administrator so replace it with replace the administrator with your actual password and 
here open SSL DGST uh, dash MD5 uh, if you choose to do SSH A1 you can choose so and the remaining till remains same so use the open SSL to generate the to hash the password right and here I'm trying to do f using MD5 so let me just copy this command and because the password for me is administrator I don't need to change here and uh, this is the uh, Informatica server where the hub is running on or the power center is running on and let me run this command here this generated a string value here which is definitely not a clear text password so I can copy this string here and uh, let me go to the SOAP UI and replace the clear text password with encrypted value and rerun the SOAP request and I still get the response back so this is like a more secure way of doing so clear text password now I can provide a hashed password uh, using the client uh, through the through the client request and I still get the response back and the web service hub is able to authenticate it um, for this SOAP request um, the third type of uh, which is a digestive uh, which is the digest type of uh, username or authentication uh, is beyond the scope of this uh, video so I'm not covering it but uh, there are let me uh, there are pretty detailed explanation on what it is and uh, how do we use it in the help guide so um, that's pretty much I wanted to cover during this um, demo uh, I hope this was a little useful for you we would love to uh, hear uh, any feedback from you you can uh, send your feedback on support videos at informatica.com or you, you can tweet us at twitter.com slash infosupport Thanks for watching this video. Thanks.